Oh my gosh, I'm here with Lauren and Colin. Are we shooting? We're rolling. And you just spat on me, but whatever. I'm waiting hey, for an apology. Hey. <laughs> I remember when we used to do this when we lived together. Yeah, we lived together. We cuddle. You just totally ruined my first trivia question. For you. <laughs> I was gonna say, which Degrassi cast member did you live with in real life? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what a um, uh, a ship is? Yes. I just learned about it. Is that surprising? Well, you're behind the times. <laughs> okay. Because well, I've been <clears throat> shipping. You've been shipping all over this city, I've haven't been you? Shipping. Ship to the left. Ship to the right. Parko. Is that a thing? Shipping, that was gonna ask you, what's our ship? Parco. Parco. Interesting. Is that a good one? Or, then or there's Mage. Mage? <laughs> Mage is kind of like an old lady's name. Mage is word. silly. Major Parco. Major, Major Parco. Parco. That's a good one. Okay, so about Major Parco. Mm -hmm. um, isn't it bizarre? The last time fans saw Parco together, there's a big slap, our friendship is over, yeah. and then Marco hangs up on you and we're never to be heard from again. In, How do you feel about that? In one of the other 47 interviews that I've done today, talking about the show, I said that my most, they were like, what's your favorite moment? What's your favorite moment? And I was like, I'll tell you my least favorite moment. <gasps> my least favorite moment is that this amazing friendship that lasted so many years is just like, Gone. Left totally, you know. I know. And it's kind of it's crazy sad. because all it's the fans to me. tweet and they're like, what about Parka? What about Pit Mage? You know? <laughs> you know? No one has ever tweeted that. Ever. <laughs> no Mage? one has said that. Hashtag save Mage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, we do get a lot of fans being like, what yeah, happened yeah. to Marco and Mage? And it's like, I, <laughs> and you're like, I don't, I don't know. know. Um, so. In real life, of course, you, I asked you to slap me for real. Remember that? I said, slap me for real. Oh my God, because I did it. I was like, so I was like many slap times. me for real because I don't want you to have to be pulled out of the moment. Like, Which I really appreciated. Yeah, you because really then you would have been like, there. oh, oh no, right? So it was just like, hit me. Well, but she what, hit me what so they, many times. Not, uh, not, it's not your fault. And what everyone doesn't know is that then we had to go together Yes, because we lived together. And live and in the same apartment. She felt so guilty. I swear to God, you were like a second away from rubbing my feet. But like you were also like, you were a little bit like, okay, we've spent a lot of time together today. I'm going to just go to my room. <laughs> I think it's because I was like... You were like secretly really mad at me. <laughs> no, I wasn't mad. Or you had to go like I was cry. like secretly there to ice my face and cry in the fetal position because like really hurt. <laughs> God, I got to stop you. I got to stop pain in the spinner. <laughs> Freudian. <laughs> time pain. Not Where are we? What's happening? You once played Paige. Um, okay, I actually want to talk about Paige. Okay? But wait, like, none of this is going to be usable because like, what are we talking this about? This is all usable. Okay. Um, I loved Paige and as a matter of fact, and uh, she, I picked her as my favorite character in another interview. You did? I did. I think you were, I think Paige is hysterical and like a perfect bitch when she needed to be the original Queen Bee. I find that really heartwarming. I won't, it's, it's true. I really do. Just so, a little like... So Check here's, that. you know, here's the thing about Paige, you know, the original Queen Bee, yep. you know, she ate Heather Sinclair for breakfast. Every day. Calder. <laughs> um, what was Paige's, you know, like, what, what's her Achilles? Like, what was her weak spots? That's a really hard question. It's a good one, you know, I'm not, I, you know, I'm not screwing around. Um, I mean, Manny. Manny was a serious weak spot. Manny was her, like, ultimate. Mm -hmm weak spot I think she really felt threatened by her yeah she was younger she was hotter she was I don't know a better spirit squad member <laughs> <laughs> she was younger she was hotter she had better hair extensions <laughs> I don't know you guys showed um, up to prom in the same dress and her leg slash foot wasn't broken yeah it's true yeah. um yeah I think that was definitely a uh, a thorn in Paige's side. I don't know why, because Paige was like such a queen bee in that. Like, why? Out of she all was confident, but isn't that always isn't that always the case with the queen bees with the mean girls? It's so true. They're so insecure. You know, and it's just it, it was because between Manny and Paige, I think you guys both you know both those characters had something to prove, mm -hmm. and they really wanted to hurt each other. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever? You, but you befriend each other at some point. Eventually, I don't remember. 
remember. There's this sweet scene in the bathroom of when uh, of the Kevin Smith wine. Oh gosh, yeah, that was the same yeah. same episode and there's a sweet where we scene finally where like, like reach out know, to each other. But the girls went out for laxatives. I wouldn't have a drink tonight if I were you. And Manny says that, and you went, "Thanks for the tip." Literally, I thought you were just joking. No, that's, but that's actually totally the what line. happened. And I only know that because I watched an episode recently. That's really funny. Yeah. And that's I a really that's funny a line. Gesture. It's also okay. a really funny line. What's your favorite moment between Parko slash Mage? Oh, come here. Come here. Are you going to do something to me? Yeah. Just put your head down. Oh, keep your phones on. Always on. No, do you remember the scene where we're sitting at the table? I mean, my favorite moment of you is the first scene that you were ever in where you were doing the worm in your <laughs> mod robes. <laughs> and K-Swiss running shoes, those big like, running shoes. Do you know the first time I ever saw you in life? It is forever in my, like, implanted, like, no, it is imprinted in my brain. Implanted, maybe. Um, because I was so nervous. I was just on a show, and I was like, you know, like a fetus. And I was walking down the hall, and you were rehearsing with Phil Earnshaw. And you said, all you said is like, I haven't seen clothes that bad, something, something, like, since Heather Sinclair's sock hop. <laughs> and I just remember you in, like, full, like, hair and makeup, but, like, with, like, a zip-up hoodie. Because I was like, probably shooting or something, yeah, you but like wearing my own clothes. Yeah, she really? Was fierce. Really? Yeah, I, I, so. I was a little that. bit scared of you at the beginning because we weren't friends at the beginning. We weren't. Oh my God, Adamo, what I could tell about our friendship to these viewers. Um, no, I was thinking for, I, like, I hope you don't mind me saying this. Please um, do so. Like, how cool that I remember the moment that Marco came up to me, and I remember the moment that Adamo came up to me. It's so lovely. Because that was. Believe that. It's crazy. Because we knew each other when we were fifteen. I know. What did I say to you? I don't remember. We had just done a photo shoot for a magazine in Toronto, and we just sort of started like bonding a lot on set. Was that the I Weekly one? Yeah. In Kensington Market. Yeah. At a weed shop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was very odd. It was bizarre. Um, and we went to the second cup on College Street. We did. Oh, I remember. And you told me, you mentioned your friend that you often spoke of. My special friend. His special friend. And then you sort of looked down and looked oh, at me. and because I had this. Oh yeah, I wasn't going to say that. You had a wristband that had his Initial, initial on, on it. it. We won't say what. And you were like, yeah, it's for my, it's, it's for person, uh, he who shall not be named. Um, and then you like looked down, and then you looked at me, and then you were like, because you know he's he's my boyfriend. And I was like, heart swell. Here's my gay best friend I always wanted. The little exploded. <laughs> and then the marching band came yeah. in. That is yeah. so lovely, and I actually remember that. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, that was a that's sweet a good moment. moment. That was the beginning. Beginning. Beginning of our love. So, of course, we had like our big scenes that went there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Paige gets date raped. All I kept thinking is like I rewatched that at that moment recently. And all I kept thinking like you were a kid. I know it's crazy. Like what? what, what like I was I like know, fifteen like, years old. What, did your mom explain it to you? Like, did you know what was happening? I do, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I'd always been kind of like a precocious child. And, you know, I was watching a lot of, like, <clears throat> TV that was probably too mature for me at a really young age. Um, so I definitely knew, I knew what was going on. Um, what I don't think I realized is the, the impact that the episode would have um, to viewers. And I think that was a good thing because I think that would have been really frightening and oh, really see. scary to think about. That like, um, oh, suddenly you're going to represent an issue. Mm -hmm. I think what was, you know, what was weird for me about shooting that was I was 15 years old. I was a virgin. I was, I was, you know, in this scene with a really hot older guy that I had to, you know, make out with in front of all these people that were watching. My parents were going to see it. My parents were gonna to want to talk to me about sex now. Oh, no. Like it was those pressures that were going did through they? my brain. Um. God. Like, did your mom talk to you about it? Because I would imagine. No, I remember my dad was on set. Oh, he wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't like there in the room while we were shooting. But it was definitely like required that he, that one of like my chaperones be there and. 
I sort of felt bad for him. I'm like, imagine having to watch your Ugh. your daughter, you know, cope with that or deal with that. Um, yeah, it was it was heavy. We were young. We most were really young. most young actors don't get the opportunity to deal with this kind of like meaty material. And you know, it's kind of funny, right? Because it's our naivete that we needed to, to make those believable. That, yeah. You know, like here's the thing: you're a virgin. Paige is a virgin. Yeah. You know, and that that, that was important. But I also think, like, with no, Marco, I mean, you were 15. Yeah, so no, I know. <laughs> so good. Like, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Um, like, Marco getting, you know, gay bashed in, in the park. I remember that messed with me for a really long time I after. I can't even imagine. I was just really afraid of people, and I was afraid of the city. That's like, so I was just, weird. like, there was just weird things. I never, just never thought that, like, my being different would equate such violence. Wow. Because I just never thought that was a thing. I didn't it's know about it. And I guess, I guess I'm guess i quite blessed that I wasn't dealt that in real life. Right, thank God. Um, but it wasn't until I got older that I was like, oh my God, that really scared me. That bothered me for yeah. a while. And then I could have only imagined if it happened for real. You know, so then, you know, it's kind of like we really rose to that occasion. And you're right. I didn't know. I don't think we knew what responsibility we had until it was no. over. Until, and I think that was actually Until young people such... say, this happened. To me, yeah. and you're like, really? This is not fiction. And I think, you know, another thing to be said for that is when someone is, God forbid, raped, or they're on a date and they're date raped, they haven't dealt with it before. They don't know. They don't know what they're getting into. So that was another, like, the innocence that we brought to that. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it is the innocence. It's the innocence of making those mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, of walking through a dark park or, you know, going upstairs with a strange guy, yeah. you know, and... It happens because no one has that, you know, wherewithal at that point. Mm -hmm. You're 15. Mm -hmm. Heavy stuff. <laughs> All right, trivia question. What was it, Krista? It is the Jimmy dance. Okay. In the 80s dance, yep. who did Aubrey Drake Graham dress up as? Michael Jackson. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna I can you tell you who everyone dressed up as. Please do so. Aubrey was Michael Jackson, Shane was MC Hammer, I was Madonna. Andrea. The first time I, the first episode I was with, I just showed circuited. The first episode I was in with you, your chest was Madonna. Isn't that wonderful? Wow. It's weird how things come full circle. Continue, continue. Andrea was Tina Turner. Cassie was Molly Ringwald. Miriam was. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I know what it is. Cindy Lauper. Damn it. Who else was in the dance? Shane. Shane already said MC Hammer. No. Chrissy. Yep. He wasn't MC Hammer. Yes, he was. No. Yes, he was. No. Vanilla was Ice. He? It was an 80s dance, not a 90s dance. Damn. Just because he's white. Um, wow. Chrissy was Pat Benatar. And Melissa was Susie from Susie and the Banshees. I know this. Because who, I am oh, oh, oh. a crazy person. Who was Mr. Simpson? Oh, and Jake was... Yeah, it was Jake. I know both of these. Wait, I know this. Jake was the guy from the Sex Pistols. What's his name? I don't remember. Sad Vicious. Damn it. Fill in the blank. <gasps> Two blanks. Fun. I'm not blank. I'm blank. It's like maybe my most famous line. I'm not blank, I'm blank. I'm not Paige. I'm not blank. It can't be. Your most favorite, fa your most famous line is New Year, New Look, New Page. Who are you Fair. kidding? This is second. Okay, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not mean, I'm right. <gasps> That was your line? Yeah. Oh, God, Paige was such a bitch. She was such a bitch. I'm not mean, I'm right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I'm just like reevaluating our character's entire friendship. <laughs> that was early days. That was like season Do you have any, two. Um, you have any final words there? Some final thoughts there, Jerry Springer? This has been a weird, wonderful day. Yeah. Really just like going, going deep back into our history. I mm. feel like I need to go to therapy do you now. Feel, do you feel old? I'm feeling a bit old today. You all, that's your, your favorite thing to say. Your catchphrase is, I'm too old for this. If you could like, like, go back and do like one thing different, 
On wow. the show? Yeah. Not even like as your character. Like as an actor on the show? Yeah. Like I think if I could go back, like I would have been like a little less, I would have more fun. More fun. We were very responsible. We were very responsible. We were very well behaved. Oh, so well behaved. I guess if I could go back, if I could go back, I would. I mean, I had so much fun. I guess if I could go back, I, I guess I don't know. I don't think I would change anything. Yeah. There was really nothing that I regret. I had like the best time in my life. Whatever yeah. it takes. That I'm, was fun. I'm not mean. I'm right. Good night, everyone.